Look at what Jules is doing. <laughs> you guys tell her how dangerous she is. <laughs> it is a hot one again, man. I know I was wearing like a flannel in the last video. And now it's hot. You're back in a tank top. Yeah, what's up with this? I don't know, man. <laughs> Isn't it almost fall? It's getting there, huh? <laughs> Let's see if we can't get that soffit done and that soffit done. And then the siding on both sides right there in this video. Whew. First things first, we got to do some measuring up here. 24 inches, man, might just fit perfectly. That'll work. All right, six feet, one quarter inch by 24. That'll work. Oh, so hot. Okay. Woo. Made that. Now we can go cut our piece. Try to put it up there. Feels like it's still good, Jules. Well, cool. Yeah, two weeks in the fridge. Yeah. And it's still soft. Oh, good. How about the paint? Paint, we'll probably have to stir. <laughs> stir. <laughs> I'll just stir it with the paintbrush. of the house right now afternoon on the west side but i think we're gonna get this up up here today jules that's so exciting I know. hey maybe we should try not to drop them today that's a good idea we'll <laughs> you try should... not to drop you guys let's show them your screen there's some nice little marks on it all right here we go I gotta cut a notch out of it because it's not fitting up there over the eve of the addition or the peak of the addition. And I lost my hat. It's another morning here on the homestead. Man, we had to quit working yesterday because I was a big wimp. It was so hot, man. Like burning myself on the roof. And we were making mistakes. We messed up a whole six foot sheet of soffit. So we decided better to call it quits and get out here in the morning when it's nice and cool and try to get some good work done today rather than forcing through it yesterday. Should we show them the piece we messed up? Sure. <laughs> or keep that a secret? Show them. <laughs> we notched it right here, but the notch goes on the other end. <laughs> Can't glue that back on. See if we can get her to fit. Got it, Jules. Whew, finally. We got our second piece of soffit to go up now. Let's see if we can get that up there. We can start on the other side. Woo, there we go. Made it. And you guys didn't even fall. It's so amazing. Look at what Jules is doing. <laughs> you guys tell her how dangerous she is. <laughs> we're not dangerous. We're, we do dangerous things smartly. There you go. You know what I really think it is? What's up? I think that I have more confidence in the structure because I was a part of building it. Mm -hmm. So it gives me confidence to stand on weird things. There you go. That makes sense. <laughs> or swing from weird things. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Yeah, 
Já jsem je v plást. We got this bit of the soffit done. We gotta go up so we can go down. If we can clear this other roof with the bucket. It's getting warm again, man, but we're supposed to get an inch of rain tonight. We're gonna have to do something with the uh, that hole over there, I think. Because otherwise, a root cellar is going to get flooded tonight. So we're probably going to have to fix on fix that somehow today. Before tonight. But I really want to get this soffit done today. Before we work on that. We'll see. If we don't have any more mishaps. I think we'll be able to do it. I'm going to stay within earshot and eye shot of Marty up there on the roof. And take care of a few things in the garden. Check it out, oh, it's beautiful. We got all of the soffit on that south side of the apartment done. While I'm cutting the blocking, Jules is over here in her beautiful flower garden. She's uh, weed whacking away. She can't hear us talking to her though, probably, because it's so loud over there. She can't hear us talking about how good of a job she's doing. Nope. Or she's just pretending one of the two. Weed whacking around the flower beds there really makes them like the flowers like I don't know they just seem to stand out so much more all trimmed up around them like that but we got a lot of uh, blocking to cut here and check it out oh it's coming guys the rain is a coming I just checked the weather during lunch and uh, we're still up for an inch of rain tonight so whew, hopefully everything's gonna go beautifully that's what we got to do today. Here's my cut list. Oh man, you could barely read that thing. Hmm. I also wrote them down right up there, but you might not be able to see that in the camera. I can see it from down here, although just barely. Got all the blocking cut. Try to go up there and get it nailed in. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be getting, hopefully around an inch of rain tonight. So we don't want our crawl space to flood quite yet. Oh, look at that, that'll work, huh? So we're gonna try to make a makeshift cover for it tonight. We want to make sure that the electrical on here doesn't get messed up tonight. So we're going to not only put the fancy cover over it, but we're going to wrap it in a tarp as well. to get it and then I was gonna yell first try <laughs> can you help me please <laughs> yeah. thank you truck is ready for the rain our root cellar door I think is ready for the rain we're gonna find out tonight but guys I need to come up with a plan on exactly how I'm going to build the entryway for that right so we can backfill it and put some gravel in there and all of that i've got a friend 
who has a door very similar to this and they just built their access. So I think what we're gonna do is cruise over there really quick and check it out. Let's do it. And we made it over here. After a, a tornado spinning, whirly, make you sick to your stomach thing. This is Matt from Chasing Freedom Homestead. And if you look right over here, he's got what we need. So we built this out of um, pressure treated wood. So it's like 48 by 48. And uh, there's really no design to it. I just kind of did squared it up. And for my footers, I use the six by six pressure treated wood. And then I just wrapped it with some leftover um, asphalt thing and then some house wrap and um, put the hinge on and it's all good to go. And probably put some sheet metal on there and that'll be it. So that's ready for the rain tonight. Yes, it is. Yeah. Basically, this is going to be level coming out here. You're yes. going to backfill that all the way up. Yeah, so about where the black is meets the blue, we'll probably come up here, fill this out, you know, have the water shed across here. Okay. Uh, we just got to get some more dirt and... Uh, uh, but for tonight, or for the rain, we just wanted to get it shedding away and moving away. But yeah, it'll be back filled up here um, on both sides and then just shed that way. It's cool. So you're building an arch cabin here on your homestead? Yes. Yep. And so this is a 30 by 40? They got this cool bump out here off of the back and it's got a pretty unique roof line. Where it, it comes down this way and comes off over there. So it's, it's like high style. <laughs> Yeah, I hurt my brain trying to figure out how to do that so I wouldn't pierce the metal out there. But So I got a 312, and then this is probably two and a half twelve 12 uh, this way. And I got my metal in, so if the weather cooperates, I might be able to get that up this week. They've also got a cistern here that runs down to a well way down over there. Let's go ahead and we'll cruise over here so we can get a, um, a little bit better view of the arch cabin. So it's kind of like a Quonset hut, but different it's got steel ribs in there it looks like a whale in there like maybe where jonah was yeah an upside down boat yeah upside down boat so here we go you can kind of see it here there's going to be like french doors right in the middle is that right uh yeah something like that or maybe a door with two side uh, windows on there okay and then up top there's going to be windows too two windows up there and then just like the back we're going to have like a deck that kind of comes out maybe like 15 feet it'll be open but uh um, a deck that comes out with a porch on there so what could they be looking forward to here on your channel well we got to build the second story on the inside so we got to do that and then you saw the cistern and i got to plumb my water so i need to build a structure over that and then dig the hole and run the pipe underneath the house and get that all kind of uh, situated before winter time so that's our upcoming projects Cool. There is a link down in the description below to Chasing Freedom Homestead. If you guys would like to go check them out, I will link to one of their awesome videos. And if you go watch it, put down in the comment of their video that you came over from Martin Johnson Off Grid Living. And that way we can see how many of you guys are going over and loving their channel. The weatherman did not disappoint. It was raining all last night. It's been raining pretty much all day today. And look at that there. The water is coming off of there beautifully. Let's cruise down and see if we're flooding or not. Oh boy. I don't know. I hope we're not flooding. Oh, dry as a bone, my friends. It's worked beautifully. Our sump pump is even dry. We're gonna have to hook this black hose up to it here in a little bit just to make sure later this winter, if it does flood, it'll pump it out. By the way, while we are down here, you can kind of see that we got a little bit of preparedness in our minds. Well, we made a preparedness checklist that you can download 100% for free. There's a link down in the description below, probably a QR code on the screen right now that you can scan with your smartphone, but it's a checklist. You print it out, put it on your fridge, and as you go about getting prepared, you just check them off and you're good to go. Let's go find some rainy day projects to do today. It's a rainy and chilly day. What do you do on a rainy day? I think you make Bob. Jules, we're gonna make Bob today. I'm excited to make Bob. Me too. <laughs> Bob is going to be a new mascot here on the channel for at least a little while until we get too bored of Bob and eat him up. But Bob is made right here of some dark rye flour, some all-purpose flour. We've got a jar right here, a scale thermometer, and instructions. First thing we're 
first thing I need to do is actually measure our jar and then I'll zero that out, then add our rye flour and our water. Beautiful. So we just watched the Truman Show and I feel like that. I think we should use dark rye flour from Bob's Red Mill. What do you think, honey? Well, that sounds great. <laughs> it's organic. Now we're gonna add 150 grams of lukewarm water. It's about 85 degrees. I went over. Uh, no, 14 grams over. Think I should try to take some out? Mm, I don't think so. Mm. Hopefully uh, it won't make a difference to Bob. I don't think, think Bob cares. Okay. Come to life, Bob. Make sure there's no dry flour. Have you guessed what we're making yet? Well, let me tell you. It is a sourdough bread starter. It takes seven days of, of work on it to get it up to being ready. And we're not using any commercial yeast in this one. This is actually just wild yeast that came with the unbleached flour and all of that. So hopefully guys, Bob is gonna grow, he's gonna reproduce, he's gonna get big and fat. And then we're gonna make a beautiful loaf of sourdough. The house is a little bit cool today. It's about 62 degrees. So we're gonna stick Bob inside the oven with the light on just to help make him grow faster. While Bob starts his new life there in the oven, I did pick out this video right up here for you to go ahead and watch next. We hope you guys have a really great day. And keep keep smiling. smiling.